another role for identity is identity introduction. Identity introduction is a rule that allows us to assert at any instance that an object is identical to itself. This is, in a sense, a logical foundational truth of philosophy and of our system of derivation. So what we're going to say is that um, using identity introduction, you can assert some object A is identical to itself at any instance without citing any premise whatsoever. You will need to cite the rule though, I had left that off here. So you would need to cite identity introduction, but identity introduction is taken to be, um, or what you derive from identity introduction is taken to be a self-evident truth. So we don't need to cite any premises to derive this thing. Um, so here we're asked to derive using identity introduction that um, X is identical uh, or that for all things X, they are identical to themselves. So how do we do that? Well, what we'll do is um, at step one here, notice we're given a Fitch bar, but no, um, no premises to derive this conclusion from. So this is a way into another form of proof without premises. We can assert that um, C is identical to itself using identity introduction. And then using our uh, universal introduction rule, we can assert that for all things X, X is identical to X, citing universal introduction and step one. Of course, this is justified because um, C does not appear in any premise or any undischarged assumption. It was a step in our proof, a proof which began with no premises. So that is your rule, identity introduction. Again, you won't be required to know the rules for identity on the uh, core materials of the exam, but they are helpful in proofs with quantifiers, and I may give you some bonus proofs that take advantage of these. Have a nice day.